morning. It's Sunday, 6th of December 2015. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adavaneng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top headline in the Times says, President withdraws Rajapaksha's 500-strong army security. NSC must gauge threat assessment to decide on additional staff. President Maitripala Sirisena has ordered the immediate withdrawal of an army security contingent of some 500 personnel assigned to his predecessor Mahinda Rajapaksha. The move came after ministers at their weekly meeting on Wednesday night discussed a report by Finance Minister Ravi Nayaka. In terms of the report, former President Mahinda Rajapaksha had been assigned 130 police officers beside 500 army officers and personnel. It came to light that there was documentation to confirm that police headquarters had given approval for its contingent. However, a government source said there was no documentation either at Army Headquarters or the Ministry of Defence on how the soldiers and officers had been assigned. President Maitripala Sirisena had earlier directed Minister Karna Nayaka to submit a report to the Cabinet on how much it cost the government to maintain the former president. This included the strength provided for his security, the number of vehicles allocated and staff paid by the state. The ministerial meeting was rescheduled for Wednesday night in view of President Hilsena's visits to Malta and France. He declared that the level of security for former President Rajapaksha should be in keeping with the same level of security and vehicles provided to another former President Chandrika Bandarnayaka Kumar Tunga. Any additional requirements President Sirisena ruled should be granted only after the National Security Council makes a threat assessment and decides on the matter. It was only this week Parliament gave approval to equate former President Kumar Tunga's monthly pension to 97,500 rupees, the same amount drawn by Mahinda Rajapaksha. The highlight at the middle says, Godaheva evading arrest for hip-hop payment. The Financial Crimes Division sent out fresh teams yesterday to arrest Nalaka Godaheva, former chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission. He is wanted in connection with the SEC transfer of 5 million rupees to Tarun Nita Hetak, an organization headed by parliamentarian Namal Rajapaksha. And the highlight at the bottom says, Millions of cubic meters of sand and stone from Gampaha district. Supplementary EIA study on port city available to the people for comments. Gampaha district has been identified as the main source to provide construction material including sand and rock stones for the China-sponsored sports city project said to be relaunched in February, officials said. And now let's look at the paper highlights in Sunday Observer. The top headline says, Mysterious death of Ragrite was in Tajuddin. Magisterial verdict on December 10th. Ending month of controversy over the alleged cause of death of Wazim Tajuddin, the verdict of the magisterial inquiry into the case is due on September 10, authoritative local sources told the Sunday Observer. The magistrate, considering the JMO report and the other evidences presented before the court, will determine whether the rugby player's death was a murder or the result of a fatal accident. The Homicide Unit of the CID and Judicial Medical Officers who presented the JMR report have already established that it was a murder. Another highlight says, UL to rescue 120 pilgrims stranded in Buddha Gaya. Sri Lankan flights to Chennai cancelled till December 8. Sri Lankan Airlines and its code share partner Mihin Lanka have cancelled all flights to Chennai until December 8 due to heavy floods which inundated the airport. According to Sri Lankan Airlines, flights UL121, UL122, UL127, UL128, UL123, UL124 on December 6, UL125, UL126, UL121, UL122, UL127, UL128, UL123, UL124 and UL125 on December 8 will not operate. Mihin Lanka's flight MJ129 and 130 have also been cancelled. There's another highlight which says, Sri Lankan housemates impending execution, government appeals for clemency, an appeal for clemency by the Sri Lankan government requesting the death sentence imposed on a Sri Lankan domestic worker in Saudi Arabia be reconsidered has delayed the execution by stoning a Riyadh-based top source confirmed. Let's now move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top headline says, Indo-SL tension over JF-17 Pakistan deal. 
Sri Lankan government is facing mounting pressure from its powerful neighbor India over a defense deal Sri Lanka is to enter into with Pakistan. According to highly placed sources in the diplomatic circles, India has expressed its strong opposition to a deal the Sri Lankan government entered into with the Pakistan Air Force to purchase 10 JF-17 combat aircraft. Another highlight says, Ravi legitimizes vehicle assembly record. The highlight at the middle says, how Mahindra lost his magic ring. Another highlight which says, Hamba that a port bought oil ship rejected by CPC. And the highlight at the bottom says, Smooth passage of maiden budget. That's all for today's news highlights and we'll bring you more tomorrow. Thank you.